Hi, and welcome to Securely's introduction video to the staff and alerting features. Today, we're going to take a look at the staff button inside the Securely safety console. Now, in a prior video, we talked about the actual UI and its different widgets. And today, we're going to focus on the staff button and the functionalities within. The staff button exists for two main reasons. One, we have an admin group. By default, uh, when you access Securely by going to www.securely.com and then choosing the safety console for this particular UI, you are logging in with either a Microsoft Office 365 Global Administrator or a Google Super Admin account. This section, the admin group inside the staff button, actually allows you to explicitly list which admins will have access to the UI instead of letting Microsoft and Google uh, super admin accounts decide who has access. The other feature inside this area of the UI is the faculty group. This is a very important section because it allows administrators to configure different groups of faculty members, allow reporting access, and then configure which alerts that these users are going to receive. This also has a very data security centric feel to it as we allow administrators to decide which administrators are going to have access to which users data. So we're going to explore this a little bit further. There are two groups in this demo web interface. One is called high school principals and one is called middle school principals. For the sake of the example, we're going to click on the high school principals group. You'll notice that once you access a faculty group settings, it has three major areas. The first one is the users. These are the user accounts in the format of either a Google email or Microsoft 365 email. These are the users that are a member of this group. The second area is the organizational units. This tells the system what level of data access these individuals are going to have. If I want my high school principals to get alerts for just the high school students, then I need to go in my OU structure in this section and select just the high school kids data. Next up is our actual configuration of what the high school principal is going to be able to do once they have access to this data. The first section is deciding if the principal is going to be able to log in to securely. And if they do, they're going to see either the flagged, the auditor, and the reporting tab, which is now called activity. And this is fully customizable. On top of that, it is the administrator's job to decide if this particular user is going to receive filter alerts. Let's talk about these and talk about some best practices. First and foremost, the first option we have to configure alerts is send blocked activity emails. Not a lot of people do this. This is because every time a user receives a block page, an email will be generated with this block page and sent to the users. As you can imagine, there's going to be a lot of blocking going on during a normal day. So this particular feature can overwhelm principals and members of the faculty that you want to have alerts. The really important data is the flagged activity information. The sentiment analysis is our artificial intelligence that looks for the phrases and things in the various areas of social media and search engines. Sites, which are the suicide assistant websites or sites that may be of concern. And then there's also the capability to do keywords. Again, I suggest from a solutions architect perspective that normally, unless there's a specific reason that the flagged activity sentiments and sites are checked, keywords is also one of those where you may find that the administrator will get overwhelmed with alerting information. Now, this particular area is strictly for the filter. That are things being filtered by either the Chrome extension, SmartPak, or DNS. There's also a section for Auditor. Auditor is the system in which you can monitor email for both Google and 365, and also Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive. This has a little bit more of an advanced confidence system where you can actually select what the administrator is going to get alerted for and the confidence level by which the system will allow the alert to flow. This concludes our video on the staff section. Thank you.